Hello, welcome to the Emulsify 2.0 screencast. In this screencast, we'll be talking about how to use Twig in a dry way. In other words, don't repeat yourself. Let's jump into the code. We have actually been using this approach in Emulsify for a while, but it's worth noting at this point that this is a distinction that we might have with other Pattern Lab and Drupal integrations. The idea here is make everything as modular as possible. If you're already reusing patterns in HTML and in your SAS, why would you not do the same in your Twig files? We know that Twig already allows us to build modularly using include, extends, and embed. So essentially we're taking the idea of atomic design and applying it to Twig itself. The atoms that we build in Emulsify are therefore their distinct elements. So you'll see here we're looking at the link atom. The link file contains the A element, the pieces that are needed to apply the attributes, as well as a very flexible block implementation in Twig to where you can put any kind of content inside this block. We build all of the atoms this way with custom markup, but you don't want to keep doing that at every phase. And so in the heading file, we have our H element which includes the heading level, which can be passed down. This is a single file to handle heading ones through heading six. And you can also pass in an optional heading URL. You'll notice that instead of writing that A tag again, we're actually including our link file within it. We're only wanting to write that markup once and we're wanting to leverage its power everywhere. This gets especially important as you get into larger components. So let's jump over to the card component. So here we are at a card grid. You can see a few card components here. And you'll see that it's a very simple component containing an image, title, a subtitle, and some text. There are also some optional fields that are not shown here. If we jump over to the card file, you'll notice that at the top, we've got our outer wrapper, which we can apply the BIM classes to. We cover that in a different video. And then we have the image. So if there is a card image that's being passed in, we're actually just including that image atom that was made already. Again, we're not repeating ourselves by repeating that markup. And we're also not leaving room for error in writing the markup. Once it's written correctly in, in a single place, we want to reuse that. As you go down, you'll also notice that any elements that can be reused are reused. So the heading, the heading two that's being passed in is being pulled from the heading file. Also the subtitle, is a heading three and it's being used as well. All the way down to the paragraph, the card link, and then an optional button field. This is a good example of this kind of dry twig mentality where we create these atoms once, but we reuse the contents of them elsewhere. This is not something that's required in Emulsify and that's very important to understand. Sometimes it makes sense to write an element. You can of course still do that anywhere you want but for the elements that you want to reuse, you can reuse them just like we've done here. So go ahead and crack open Emulsify, check out the files and see how we've used this dry twig approach.